Hi guys, this is your December reading. I know it's 10 days in, but hey, what can I say? <clears throat> Had a lot going on. Alright guys, let's see. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, I see you guys working. I see you doing your thing. Alright, minding your own business. Virgo Energy. I don't know why my camera does that sometimes, but anyway. Um, so right after that, I took that card up. Um, let's go ahead and get started with a Celtic cross for you guys here. Let's see what's really going on. Dive a little deeper into this. What's going on around my Libras currently? That one to stay out, so we're going to take it. Ace of Swords. There's some realization, some truth that um, you have come upon. And... Um, you feel good about it, I feel. You feel like it's uh, you're deserving of it. You feel like, you know, it's the best thing in this situation. Mm, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is here. Um, there's some truth that has been spoken, spoken. Whether you guys spoke some truth to someone, something you've realized, or somebody has told you something that you felt like um, you needed to hear. Yeah, somebody's told you something that you feel like you needed to hear, and it's up to you what you do with that, okay? One way or the other. If it's something that you feel like um, you need to move on from, then that's what um, is crossing you right now, okay? Take whatever it is and um, do with it what you will, okay? Do what's best for you. If this is somebody telling you that... Um, you know, some things that you don't necessarily agree with in a, a situation or relationship, then, you know, this is you moving on and, and basically allowing yourselves to connect with other people, okay? Dating other people. Leo energy there. <clears throat> Let's see. What is the underlying issue here for Libras? seven of pentacles i feel like you guys have been waiting i feel like you've been investing in a situation that you probably um should just kind of let go okay and that's the issue here is holding on to things or waiting for someone to decide something for you when um i feel that you guys really know what it is that you need to do all on your own Okay, but I feel like you've been waiting to hear something and I do feel like either you have heard this or it's something that you've come to on your own that makes you feel like, okay, I have what I need now. What am I going to do with it? And I see what's challenging you is to be able to move forward and um, obtain success um, however you choose from this point on. Okay, Taurus energy there. Cards flipping out. We have the Six of Swords. Some of you are moving on, but you know, you, you're moving on with not without hurt, though. Okay. So somebody has disappointed you for sure, but you're not letting it keep you down. You're not letting it get you down and keep you there, keep you stagnant. I see you moving forward. You have two sixes hit here. This is all about um, <coughs> balance and harmony. Okay. Your mind is at ease. And now, now that your mind is at ease, I think, you know, it will give you, it will open up avenues for you to be able to move forward here, okay, and do what's best for you. So I'm going to put this right here, um, and I put it right on the Ace of Swords, actually, and the Six of Wands. The Ace of Swords and the Six of Swords is a Seven of Swords, and this is all about doing what's best for you, okay. So I feel like that's where you guys are at right now, doing what's best for you so that you can be successful, Aside from, um, you know, what other people feel like they want to do with you. You are the magician in your life, okay? Let's see. What was going on in the recent past for Libras? The star. Aquarius energy here. Aquarius energy here. Um, there's somebody I feel like you felt was... Um, you're one. Um, I, I see you moving past that though. So something has changed. <coughs> oh goodness. <clears throat> 
something has changed. Um, you guys have, have healed a lot. I think that you had hope um, of, of, you know, being with someone that you felt like was truly your partner for life. I think you still have that hope. I don't think that hope is with a particular person now, though. I think you're moving away from that. Okay. <clears throat> Crowning thoughts for Libra. Four of Swords, you do have some healing to do. That is your card. Um, I think you are wanting to take a step back to try to figure out where you go from here. You know, what is your path? Which steps to take towards what it is that you want and what you feel like, you know, would bring you success. <clears throat> what's coming in? Oh, gosh. What's coming in for my Libras? I'm getting choked up. My cars are doing something crazy. I feel like there's a lot going on with you guys right now. Um... Yeah, things are kind of confusing for you. <clears throat> it's coming in. Queen of Cups. Hmm. Now, I think your focus is on something else. You're taking your focus away from something and you're placing it somewhere else here. Okay? I think emotionally, um... I'm feeling like a lot of you guys have been drained emotionally and I see you um, you know just gaining your momentum taking your your breather um, reevaluating some things and <clears throat> basically getting to a place of emotional stability and happiness here because there's something else I feel like you guys are moving towards this is cancer energy but, um, and it could also be an individual that, uh, you know, that's very emotional that you are moving towards. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe some of you are trying to, my God, maybe some of you are trying to rectify a situation with someone um, that currently has their back turned to you as well in the near future. <clears throat> Let's see, how is Libra viewing this situation? The Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. There's definitely some changes that you feel like are going on in your life right now because that's what the Wheel of Fortune is about. You know, that that Wheel of Karma. Turning. Spinning out. You know, what it is that, you know, that we need in our life in order to evolve and, and develop in certain areas. So I'm definitely getting that you guys are sensing this change, like there's a lot going on. Um, <clears throat> and, I, and I feel like this is going to be a change for the better for you. Because I think that um, you've been going through some things. And I think there was a level of confusion for you, but things are kind of, you know, um, your path is being cleared. And I think you feel good about that. Even if you're separating from someone, I, I think you're feeling good about the path that, that you see for yourselves right now. Okay? Sagittarius, Piscean energy. What is the influence here for Libras? <clears throat> Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is a lot of burden. Okay? A lot of responsibility. Lots of responsibility. Um, I, I see that there's somebody in your life that it is, I feel like this is a water energy. And I feel like this is a very emotional person. This person, I think you care for them and you want to, you, you want to have a conversation with them. Um, but this person currently has so many things going on that I feel that you, you haven't been able to get out what it is that you need to say to this person. Okay. Um, I feel like this person wants, wants to start something with you, but I feel like they have to handle something first. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Sagittarius energy is there as well. Let's see. Hopes or fears for Libra. Or either this is you guys having to, um, you know, just focus. What you're doing is leaving a situation behind that you felt like at one point was um, 
this was somebody that you felt like you was going to be with. Okay. But at some point right now, you're like, you know, there's something out there that I need to do. Okay. For me. And it's a lot of things that you have, like that you're dealing with or that you're going to deal with, that you need to deal with. Um, <clears throat> and just coming to that realization. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> Hopes or fears for Libra. Death. Change. Endings. <sighs> but, you know, with death, you know, there's always a new beginning is the thing. Okay? But I'm definitely sensing that some of you are fearing this new chapter. You're fearing it. Um, I think you're holding on to something that you know probably should have ended a while ago. Okay. So I think that is what your fear is. Scorpio energy there. What is the outcome here for Libras? Outcome for Libras. Okay. All right. Ooh. Two of Wands. I don't know if it <coughs> came in the upright or in reverse. But I feel like if it's in reverse, this is a new start for you. Okay. This is you deciding what you want and going for it. Now, in the upright, this is knowing which way you want to go and just kind of like sitting there. Um, knowing what you need to do and sitting there, being stagnant. So for some of you, this is you, you know, just taking the initiative to go ahead and let go of those things that are not um, serving you any longer and moving forward and doing what's best for you. And then for others of you, <clears throat> you guys know what it is that you need and want to do, but you're not making that decision just yet, okay? So I think, you know, that's, that's where this Four of Swords comes in. This is contemplation. This is thinking, planning, trying to figure out what your next steps are. All right, guys, this is Aries Energy. So that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.